The monster in the AOA Anui is considered one of the most feared fighters in world boxing today due to his unreal power, unique skill set and body punching attacks. In today's video, I'll be looking at his boxing style, his accomplishments to date and what helps him live up to his monster's name. So on that note, let's get right into it. To start off, I'll give you some background on how Inui has got to the stage where he is now. The man from Japan is without a doubt regarded one of the best pound for pound boxers on many people's lists today. But how did this young boxing star from Japan get to this level at such a young age? Well, Naoa had a startling amateur career where he amassed a 75 for 6 record with 48 KOs. Remember, this is amateur boxing where he amassed this unreal amount of KOs. Nui had a fairly straightforward amateur career turning pro in 2012, and by the next year, with a record of 5-0, he had his first world title for the WBC World Light Flyweight title against the Mexican Ardian Hernandez, which only took 6 rounds. The monster since has gone on to amass a perfect record to date and is now a 3-weight world champion by the age of 26. The Japanese star then went on to the World Boxing Super Series in the Bantamweight division, where he defeated former pound for pound star and KO artist himself, Nonito Denaire, in the final, which is an absolute classic, and I highly recommend you check it out. It's exciting to think how far he can go and who he could face. As mentioned before, Inui is an extremely gifted fighter, but that's not to say he hasn't worked to get where he is today. The Japanese star uses incredible athleticism where he puts pressure on his opponent mainly with the jab and combination punching to create openings for his well known and signature left hook to the body. I'll go in more detail in a sec. The jab. Everything for Inui usually comes off this incredible use of his accurate and varied jab. For most that watch Anui, this is probably the most underappreciated part of his amazing skill set. Anui likes to use the jab to feel out his opponent to help apply pressure, but also maintain distance and respect from his opponent. Anui likes to throw hard but quick jabs two or three at a time, a technique similar to what Gennady Golovkin likes to do. This very much helps him to set up a stronger powerful jab, which in turn helps Anui fire a straight right, a hook or uppercut on his opponent's head or high guard. He will also throw straight jabs to the body to change up his rhythm when he is applying pressure. This variation with his jab usually causes the opponent to have uncertainty in what combinations Inui will throw or how powerful a shot will be made. This is where the monster usually opens up on his favourite and finishing left hook. Here is a great example of him doing this right now. Variation of combinations. As I just mentioned, Anui is very much looking to manipulate his opponent's guard to create openings. The Japanese boxing star is brilliant at doing this, but he's even better at changing the variation of each combination he throws. For example, we'll change the sequence of where and how he attacks high, low, high, or low, high, low, low. By doing this, it simply confuses or causes panic in his competitor which results in them bringing their guard high or low. Either doesn't matter for Anui, as he is amazingly accurate by throwing low body shots or even a vertical left hook high. A brilliant example of Anui doing this was against Rodriguez in the World Boxing Super Series, going from body to head attacks, ending him in devastating fashion. Subtle and effective defense. Anui's defense is another underrated piece of his skill set. Although he has only been truly tested a couple of times, I feel any top opponent will struggle while he's in his prime. Generally he uses a high guard if he's up close against his opponent. While they throw shots, Anui will very subtly step back or pivot so the punches are not as effective or clean. He's also very good at smothering his opponent up close and catching shots with his arms which tends to result in him counter punching them without being tied up. Generally, you will see him use a Philly shell or something similar to Mike Tyson's peekaboo when up close. Head movement also plays a big part in Anui's overall defense, which is something he's cleverly worked on to avoid taking big shots. Body punching. We'll finish off with what Anui does best, finishing off his opponents to the body. Now all of what I have discussed demonstrates how Anui finds openings to his body. 
for example, his variation of punching high and low, and also creating angles through pressure and even using his jab. If you've watched many of Inoue's fights, you'll know he loves to go to the solar plexus, kidneys or liver. The liver shot in particular is one of the most painful shots you can receive in boxing if hit accurately. And if hit hard enough, it causes immediate fatigue and unbearable pain. It's no wonder the monster aims for this shot. Another perfect example of Inui doing this was against Nonita Donaire, where he did this by changing up the punch variation to create the openings for the body. Inui used a jab, a right uppercut, which then led to the opening for the solar plexus shot. I also think a big part of Inui finding these openings is due to the pressure and fear factor he puts on his competitor in the ring, which simply makes them rush their work causing them to put up their guard in the wrong position, whether that be to lower it or make it higher. I always found it interesting what former opponent Antonio Neves said to Boxing News when facing him. Anui does several things brilliantly in there. His jab was fast and he knew not to let me get set. He was very strong and very sharp puncher. He's really very skilled individual. He caught me with a good front of the liver shot while I was moving back. Here you can see Anui putting the pressure on Neves, and just like I said, him moving back led to the liver shot for Inui to throw it. It's truly spectacular when you consider he's knocked out that many opponents with those body shots. To finish off, Naoya Inui is without a doubt one of the most talented boxers today. With him still in his 20s, he still has so much more to give to the sport of boxing in the years to come. It will be interesting to see how many more weight divisions he can conquer as I think you'll be able to take his devastating power up in the weight divisions. If you're an upcoming amateur or even a professional, I highly recommend you study the monster as you can definitely learn a lot from him in terms of his punch variation and how to create openings for body shots. He's without doubt one of my favourite fighters right now. It will be so exciting to see how far the monster will go. And that wraps up this boxing style analysis guys. Hope you enjoyed it and it gave you more insight on the monster. If there's another boxer you'd like me to cover, make sure to comment below. I'd also love to hear your thoughts on Anui. Do you think he can dominate in the years to come? As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, please subscribe. Really appreciate the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.